The theme this morning is giving chances to individuals who are returning back into society from incarceration. Individuals who need our help bridging the gap from a system of confinement to a system of a free society. Let me uh, begin uh, with a belief, uh, with a proposition that we are not defined by our past. We are not defined even necessarily by the present. We're not defined by our work, our job title, or our address. And all those, those might be uh, realities that bring us special privilege or burden. We are not defined by them. Well, this is really a head and heart issue. You can care about it because it makes sense from a logical perspective. It saves the taxpayers money. You can also, from a heart perspective, know that if they become taxpaying citizens, if they become people who are giving back to the community, if they become good, solid parents and good spouses, this is going to help our community all the way around. Everyone's safer and our community is stronger. We truly, here in Marion County, have an opportunity to take a step back and say, how do we make sure not only are we looking at the victims, but how do we make sure we don't have victims in the community in the future? If a person is returning to our community is not successful, he or she, they go back into the prison system and we pay a big price dollars and cents, not to mention the emotional cost for the victims and the families. What if we considered mental health as important as our physical health? What if our annual checkup not only included a visit to our primary care doctor, our dentist, our eye doctor, it also included a routine mental health checkup. We need to care as much about our heart and our brains as we care about our teeth and our knees. These programs are working People's lives are changing for the better, and our community is much safer and stronger as a result. What a great return on investment. I don't know of any other program that uh, leverages the resources like this program does, whether it's community corrections, the education piece, the private piece, the federal, state, county, all the collaborative aspect of this is, is amazing. And frankly, in this budget-limited environment that, uh, believe it or not, we are trying to live in these days, uh, this is the future. The key to all of this, the key to every bit of it, lies in finding some basis for a person to assume a dignity that he thought he'd lost. And the greatest key to that is finding honest, honorable work. This is not about the rich helping the poor. This is not about the good helping the bad. This is about people helping people. Those of us who are able, stepping up and be able to say, I'm willing, I am willing to offer kindness to somebody who truly, at this point in their life, needs it. You see a person that when they lose a loved one, they fall down sobbing on the floor, just like you and me. You see a person that when something great happens in their life, they laugh until their sides hurt, just like you and me. You see a person that's longing for a future that's better than the one they have, that's trying to make something of, them, of themselves, just like you and me. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand here today as a firm believer in the work that we all do towards the rebuilding of men and women in our county and abroad. People get second chances. How many people here haven't had somebody come alongside of them and helped you? I know I have. So we have work to do to remove obstacles, to allow these people to come back and be productive citizens in our state and make a difference. And they will be the pebbles that will be used to change somebody else's life. Yeah.